ever since varsity days uh, i started out as a dj um, started collecting vinyls and started buying turntables and two years from there i started um, loving um, production you know, i wanted to get into music production you know started going to music school and then yeah ever since i never stopped making music i'm a quiet person so um, i'm a very reserved person so i'm not a loud person so when you make music you want to make something that you would listen to and something that you love so it just came naturally that uh, i started just loving from the onset soulful house music a lot of vocals and just starting doing that you know He's a very passionate guy. First time I met him, he was very passionate. He was like, okay, so I have this track and I, kn I know that you've been working with Simbad and all of that. And I was like, yeah, cool, let's work, man. Let me hear what you got. So uh, when he played me the track, I was like, okay, 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 that's really nice. We can do something about it. But I think, again, because he's very talented, sometimes you see people that are trying to do something and they have a long way to go. But with him, he, it was, he's talented, plain and simple. He's talented, so I thought, let me just ride to it, and we rode to it. We got into the studio, and working with him was, was, was a breeze. Uh, but like trying to fit each other in, in our schedules was quite crazy. But we managed to do it, and we managed to record a song together. When I started doing music, I knew that I wanted to do a lot of collaborations, um, whether it's from soul artists or R&B artists or jazz. There, there were a few artists that I knew I, wanna, I want to collaborate with, but I never thought I would be in a position that where I'm collaborating with somebody like Ralph Gum. Uh, you could pick up that um, there's musical knowledge and um, as well that there's a vision of how sound should be because it was not like a copy of anything ex existing, it actually was something very fresh. Whatever he does, whatever I heard from his side, um, he clearly has an idea how he wants to sound like. doesn't at all copy existing things. Nobody needs a copy of something. Um, it's very important to have original ideas and he definitely has. I don't have any pressure to um, do the kind of music that will easily appeal to people or anything like that. You know, I just, I'm trying to do what I know best and what I love and hopefully it will reach out to somebody.